on all sides. People are upset and frustrated. I get it. It's understandable. Because this is about things that matter. Rights and livelihoods, the rule of law, and our democracy. Too often, trust has been betrayed in the history of Indigenous negotiations with Canadian governments. In fact, that underlines the difficulty of solving this situation today. But our common ground is the desire to arrive at solutions. We cannot resolve this alone. Just like we need Indigenous leaders to be partners, we also need Canadians to, to show both resolve and collaboration. Everyone has a stake in getting this right. Over the weekend, the Minister of Indigenous Services met with representatives from Tayandanaga as well as other members of the Mohawk Nation. And I have committed to the Wet'suwet'en hereditary chiefs that the Minister of Crown Indigenous Relations will meet with them any time. And I hope that the offer will be accepted. This is our opportunity now to bring these perspectives together. Because, Mr. Speaker, what is the alternative? Do we want to become a country of irreconcilable differences? Where people talk, but refuse to listen. Where politicians are ordering police to arrest people. A country where people think they can tamper with rail lines and endanger lives. This is simply unacceptable. There are those who would want us to act in haste who want us to boil this down to slogans and ignore the complexities, who think that using force is helpful. It is not. Patience may be in short supply, and that makes it more valuable than ever. 